G'day Bungies and Wingies and welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to go ahead and share why I think phytoplankton is quite possibly the single best discovery that I've made in my aquarium keeping journey so far. I want to talk about the benefits about this amazing green magical liquid and uh, talk about how it is easy to use and also why I basically think every aquarist moving forward should basically have phytoplankton in their arsenal. And uh, the amazing team at AquaticLifeFood.com who I have worked with in the past before when I did my acclimation kit review were kind enough to go ahead and send me their amazing micro magic freshwater and saltwater mix of phytoplankton to go ahead and talk to you guys about in this review. There is no financial incentive behind this but mainly just an educational standpoint and the team were kind enough to go ahead and send me these products to go ahead and test out and share with you guys. But before we go ahead and get into this video, as always let's acknowledge you traditional custodians of the land and the people that are managing our land as well. So I've been keeping aquariums for 12 years at this point and that's 11 years of just freshwater and one of fresh and saltwater aquariums, but in the freshwater journey, I've never really seen phytoplankton ever be talked about, except for some very, very specific cases that are used for breeding aquarium fish, which we'll touch on a little bit later. However, in the saltwater aquarium world, this magic green liquid is revered and it's one of the first things that aquarists actually go ahead and add into their aquariums when they set it up. But before we actually have a look at those benefits, we kind of need to understand what phytoplankton actually is. And it's basically little microscopic bits of algae that live suspended in the water column. A clear example of where you might find an absolute abundance of phytoplankton is out in the open ocean. And phytoplankton actually has a range of different benefits. Just to list a few, it actually stabilizes the pH, will actually produce nuisance algae and outcompete them, but it also produces oxygen. And as a matter of fact, 80% of the world's oxygen is actually produced by phytoplankton out in the open ocean. So we've sort of been lied to when they say that trees are the lungs of the world, when it actually isn't, it is this amazing stuff right here. Now in the natural aquatic ecosystem, phytoplankton is on the bottom of the food chain, meaning that it's probably the most important aspect of the food chain because if you remove that, the entire aquatic food chain ecosystem will basically collapse. And that's something that we often overlook in the home aquarium because our primary focus is potentially adding fish, adding plants, maybe setting up an aquascape or adding in some corals if it's a saltwater aquarium. And setting up a well-rounded ecosystem is something that we just really do overlook. However, setting that up biodiverse ecosystem can really have some major long-term benefits. But to really give you a clear example of that, let's jump down to my guppy aquarium. So here we have a 20 gallon long guppy breeding aquarium and in here I've got my first batch of baby scarlet lace guppies. Now I do feed these guppies with some microworms, however the amount of feeding that I do is super minimal because there's a massive population of infusoria and little micro critters that I've seen swimming around in the breeder box that these little baby guppies are living in. And phytoplankton feeds all of these micro critters in the freshwater aquarium, which means that the total amount of feeding that I do is really minimal. This also means that the excess nutrients created by potential uneaten food is next to nothing because there basically isn't any uneaten food. Now, if we jump up to my saltwater aquariums, it's basically the same principle. Phytoplankton feeds so much life in a saltwater system that starts from copepods to amphipods and even corals, especially when keeping sensitive fish like seahorses that need multiple feedings throughout the day, which may not be possible if I go out to work or uni, I really do need to rely on the natural population of these little micro critters like copepods, which I can really boost through the use of phytoplankton. I also feed this tank pretty heavily with frozen foods like mysa shrimp, and these can really increase the nutrient levels in the system and because of this I actually had a pretty severe cyano outbreak in this aquarium that really did damage a lot of my white gorgonian corals. After I started dosing phyto it actually started to go ahead and consume all of the excess nutrients that were created through my heavy feedings, outcompeted the cyano and made this aquarium fully cyano free whilst also providing nutrition for these damaged corals to assist them in their recovery process so in my opinion that is a major win-win. Now in a freshwater aquarium, it's effectively the same thing. Phytoplankton can go ahead and outcompete a lot of nuisance algae that we deal with in the freshwater tank. And this can include things like green diatoms, green hair algae, and even freshwater cyanobacteria. 
And the phytoplankton does this by utilizing all of the excess nutrients that are in the water column that inhibits the growth of these nuisance algae. And it doesn't just stop it absorbing things like nitrate or phosphate, it can also go ahead and use silicate as well, which is really amazing because that's the main reason that you have green diatoms in the aquarium. You might experience this when you set up a brand new aquarium, add some new sand in, and the sand actually carries a lot of silicates with it as well, which creates this huge bloom of green diatoms, these little tiny bits of green algae all over your aquarium glass and the phytoplankton can actually go ahead and cut down on that which in my books is really amazing. Now in a saltwater aquarium it can really assist with oxygenation because oxygen is very important in the saltwater stability of parameters. With oxygen swings if there isn't enough oxygen it can actually result in your pH coming crashing down really quickly and this is easy to happen because if you've just got a saltwater aquarium surrounded by a lot of people the carbon dioxide that we're breathing out can actually enter the saltwater aquarium really quickly and bring the pH down which then brings down things like calcium and alkalinity and it's just a whole bunch of stress. So to avoid these things, phytoplankton can actually produce regular oxygen readily in the aquarium to make sure there isn't ever really a severe lack, which is why I really love dosing this into my tanks. Now quite easily the best thing about phytoplankton in my opinion is how easily it can be cultured and that's where the team at Aquatic Live Food come in. On their website they have a range of different equipment that is required to go ahead and set up a phytoplankton culture which honestly does not take that much time or effort and they also have all of these starter kits necessary to go ahead and get strains of phytoplankton culturing as well. They're basically Australia's leading specialist in phytoplankton and live food sales which is why I really Really do love them so much because they have an amazing range of all of these products. Now I will admit that phytoplankton is a pretty loose name because it actually encompasses a bunch of different strains that fall under the name phytoplankton and these strains can have various different benefits. One could be better at nutrient export, one may potentially have a higher nutritional value when being fed to other creatures and that's where it can kind of get a bit confusing to understand which strain would be best for you to go ahead and culture. But that's where aquatic life food comes in clutch because they actually have the micro magic blend both in freshwater and saltwater and these micro magic blends as the name suggests contain a blend of different phytoplankton strains which you can go ahead and utilize for your aquariums this does mean that these two blends cannot be cultured because the different strains of phytoplankton actually do require different environmental needs. So if you did want to though, you can buy these individual strains and potentially go ahead and culture them. The, the thing that I love the most here is that you can actually see what these individual strains are and the benefits that these have in your home aquarium so you know exactly what you're getting out of the blend of Micro Magic. And if you don't necessarily have the time, space or effort to go ahead and uh, culture these individual strains yourself or have a phytoplankton culture running long term, you can actually buy an amazing subscription service style where you can get phytoplankton delivered directly to your doorstep. All you need to do is basically just select the size and the frequency that you want phytoplankton delivered to you and you will actually get this on a consistent regular basis where you will have phytoplankton directly at your door. If you are considering to purchase phytoplankton at all from the aquaticlivefood.com website then make sure you use my discount code BODGY15. This will give you worldwide 15% off to go ahead and use which is really amazing because you can get a really awesome product at a discounted price. So again that is BODGY15. Now if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more review videos like this definitely please feel free to let me know. I really enjoyed making this just because I've been using this product now for quite a while and it did take me some time to go ahead and make this video just because I really wanted to understand the benefits that this product can potentially go ahead and give and I really really do love using phytoplankton now for all of my aquariums so if you have any thoughts or comments or questions about this make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. Consider subscribing to the channel but that's essentially it for me so as always stay happy stay safe stay Australian. Bodgy out